Are you in the category of these workers and you're living in the UAE? Are you a domestic worker? Do you work in a nursery? Are you a worker who works in saloons? Are you a barber shop worker? Are you a, v a food handler worker? This video is for you. Watch it until the end. All you need to know with the medical tests in the UAE regarding this category of workers. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. If you are new to this channel, support this channel by subscribing. And don't forget to press that notification bell. It will be the only way that you will be updated or when we pop in a new video. Remember, this is Max from the Max Creation. We are still talking about the UAE residence visa, medical tests. What are you supposed to know? Are you planning to live in the UAE for more than one year? Are you planning to go to the UAE for work? This is what you need to know when we are talking about the UAE residence visa medical test. What are the requirements? We talked about the requirements. What diseases are they screened for? We talked about the diseases that are screened for. That what exactly they are they looking for? In today's video, we are going to further look at something else and that is a different category of workers. Apart from the other medical test requirements or apart from them being or apart from them being mandatory that they have to take the medical test, what are they supposed to test for apart from that? Remember, when we go to these countries, there are different countries, there are different requirements depending on the particular group, depending on even the job that you're going to do. If you're a security guard, definitely it is very different. If you're a domestic worker, you work in nursery, you work in salon, you work in beauty shops, you work in the barber shops, you're a food handler, then it is a different situation. There are different extra requirements that you need to have health-wise for you to work in these departments. Yes, you may be on a freelancer visa or you may be on a, a company visa that is a work visa. Yes, still all it applies to all people that will be working in such kind of category. What are we talking about? We are still talking about what we call the UAE residence visa and what we call the medical tests. Remember, we talked about such kind of diseases that are screened. What are they screening for the diseases that are screened for? We talked about that. And we further also explained what are the requirements? What do you need to have? What do you need to know as you are coming from your home country? Are you safe? Are the medicals you've done from your country Will they give you the same results as you come to this country? Remember, they not normally only consider medicals from your country, but they do have to take another medical that are approved in the UAE per what you call the ministries and the government authorities that are concerned for that kind of work to do. In this, in this video, let us try to see which other group of people in the UAE or which other kind of jobs in the UAE require you to have a negative syphilis test and a hepatitis B test. These tests must be negative if you are working in these other categories or if you are a worker of this category that I'm going to mention. I'm just going to read straight right from what the government website says about these groups of workers or these groups of people such that you can have a clear information or you can have a clear clarity of what I'm talking about. In addition to the following categories of workers, they should have what we call a negative syphilis and hepatitis B. Remember, we talked about the contagious diseases 
that these people do not want in their communities, which may be a little bit very expensive to treat right now. So, meaning that for you to go, you need to test negative of these diseases. Workers in the nurseries, you should test negative for hepatitis B and syphilis. You remember you are dealing with people or you're dealing with small kids or whatever kind of groups that you're dealing with. Domestic workers, including housemates, nannies and drivers. Another category is the food handlers and workers in the restaurants and the caves. We talk about people working in the restaurant, the waiters, we talk about the baristas, uh, all people working in chefs, all those people working in the food departments. They should have a negative taste of the hepatitis B and a negative taste of the syphilis. Still furthermore, workers in the healthy clubs, we look at the gyms, we look at the beauty parlor, we look at the saloons, all these ones. Then female domestic workers must test negative for, for pregnancy. For those that are going to work as housemates in the UAE, when we talk about in the UAE, we are talking about the seven Emirates that make up the UAE. We look at Dubai, we look at Abu Dhabi, we look at Asia, we look at Dubai, all those Emirates that you know that make up the UAE. If you are going to work as a domestic worker, then you should test negative for a pregnancy. You should be negative. You should have a negative test of the pregnancy. And this is exactly that way we are supposed to talk about. This test is not only going to be rectified just from your results from your country. They will still come here and rectify those results in their laboratories or when they go for what you call the disease screening. So you must be very careful a little bit if you are going to work as a domestic worker. Make sure you are free of any pregnancy at all times. Then, remember, a new cabinet resolution was passed in 2016. As per this resolution, all residents, expatriates, while renewing their residency visa, have to undergo TB screening too. This is what we also have to know. That in case you are going to renew your residence visa, let's say for example your two years are finished, Let's say for example, you one year or you two years are finished for the contract and you need to renew with that company, then they still have to screen you for what you call the TB test. Remember, we talked about communicable, we talked about the contagious diseases, and this is exactly what they are trying to eliminate in their community or amongst the community. Those found with scars or active TB or drug resistant TB will be issued what we call a conditional fitness certificate to be issued with the residence visa. In case you have such kind of uh, the above mentioned, the TB scars, the drug resistance TB, for the one condition, if you are so lucky, they will give you what we call a conditional fitness visa, residence visa, meaning that they will give you one year and that one year, in one year, you'll have to undergo treatment as they're trying to monitor you. And this is not going to be monitored by your boss only, or it's going to be monitored by you, but the government officials responsible for that, that is going to make going to monitor. If you're, you, 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 you're looking like you're healing or coming out of uh, uh, the problem, then probably they will, they will give you uh, another uh, full residence visa uh, uh, permit for you to work in there. So they say that a fitness that is issued a residence visa for one year, they will then have to undergo treatment in the UAE. However, at individual cost of the test, which will depend on how quickly you would like they to take the results. Remember, when we talk about the medical tests in the, the UAE, we shall talk about another video that talks about the medical costs in the UAE. These tests differ according to what you want. 48 hours, 50, uh, 48 hours, 2 days, 3 days, and 12 hours, 24 hours, depending on exactly what is your amount or what is your urgency 
and what is what does your pocket say at that time so they tend to value we have the vip that will go for for a shorter period of time you have the the results in 40 or 24 hours so it will definitely depend the pain and all these costs remember they have different amount of money that you're supposed to pay for the cost and exactly that we talked about is that you if your phone is TB and scars of anything and you, they are giving you a conditional one year visa, uh, residence visa for you to leave, that the treatment will be barely at your own cost. This is what I have to let you know. So being coming from your country, you already know you have the time. So that means you will definitely get off in one way or the other. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we try to see other options or other ways or other medical tests in the UAE visa. Thank you so much. It's Max from the next creation. See you again in the next video.